It is what I have in heart, but I have to say goodbye soon to the show. And it's called In the Studio and Out in the Back. Good evening. I'm Barry Fair. Welcome to Sunday, the 5th of February. Thanks for joining me. On the 5th of April, 2022, I arrived in Bray Park. I was there until early January when I came here for the last month. And that last month has just gone like the where, where did Jan, Jan, January go? Tell me. It's gone out the door. I hate, I hate having to tell you bad news or sad news. But sometimes, as a producer, and the creator of the show, I had to tell you viewers that. And I have had a wonderful time bringing the show to you or presenting the show to you over the many months. Some of the highlights I've covered on some of the shows I should say, I've covered the Story Bridge, Scarborough, Strathpoint, Marumba Downs, you name it. I've covered the lot. I've covered the Ginger Factory at the Gold Coast, the Sunshine Coast. I've been on the train to South Bank. I've been to Grills. I've been to Subway, you name it. I have also been to Indrapilly and Turnside. And what a great day I've had. I had that. I've been to Strathpoint a few times. I've been to, to Sandgate. And that was my very first out and about episode. This episode was done on April 29th of last year and then on April 30th I did I did the um, red quick okay I did lower I I don't have time to cover all the destin destinations tonight but I will be covering some of the other destinations tomorrow with with Mark. So I'm gonna have to leave it there and say good night to you. But before I do, I'd just like to say thank you very much for having me here at the uh, Ipswich and Brave Park and Thrive. Thanks to you. You've been great. And I hope that the next person that you get to replace me either here or at Brave Park, Brave Park, I hope that you, they, I hope that they or she had as much fun as I did. So, at 10 past 6 on Sunday evening, uh, this is Barry Fair. A pretty emotional Barry Fair because the, the weeks are ticking away. They're, they're sleeping away. So, guys, I will tell you this uh, the next 
of this announcement and the rest of the story tomorrow. But in the meantime, at 10 past that, it's a very fair, wishing you a very good night. And I will see you for episode 75 tomorrow and then episode 76 on Tuesday. And then next Monday, episode 77 and uh, episode 78 that will be on um, Tuesday the 14th okay the very last show so guys have a good night and I will talk to you again in the morning have a good sleep everyone good night Good morning everyone, this is Barry Fair here. Welcome to Monday, February 6th. Well, this is my second last week here in Queensland and, and what a great time I've had, okay? And, sad, and sadly, next week will be our last program. And, and we will tell you about it in, in the studio coming up in around 25 minutes. Okay? Now, in case you're wondering why I am still blocked in the right ear, in the right ear, well, I've still got an infection. Sorry that I had to tell you. And no, I haven't got a cold. It's just when I'm blocked in one ear, ear and can't hear, it, it means I can only hear out of one ear. So, so it's like when you're driving your car and you know that if one lane is blocked, you don't go in the next lane, either the left lane or right lane so am i crying over spilled milk about a block there no am i doing something about it yes so we will also be talking about how to be responsible for your actions this morning okay when you when you make appointments we discussed this at, at Silkstone the other day and we will go over that this morning. So we, we've got a lot to cover on today's show. It is episode 75 coming up by the way and, and we hope, I hope that you have enjoyed the shows over the last 10 months. Well, I have just received a phone call from the CPA in Sydney asking me some questions. Okay, so I'm pre pretty good. So um, I will tell you about that as well. So the time is nearly coming up to 20 to 10 time for me to have some breakfast and I will get back to you at 10 o'clock. It is Monday, the 6th of February, 2023. The time is now 9.38 and 10.38 if you are in Queensland. So thanks for joining me here today. Well, good morning everyone, and this is episode 75 now, and welcome to the second last week of our program here in Queensland. Well, it's my second last week of the, the show. 
and um, and it is without having a heart that Mark and I had to go our separate ways, but we won't why we've still got two fantastic weeks of fun and games to be had here and joining me now for the second last week of our program episode 75 it's a very good morning to mark english and welcome to the second last week of our program what a great privilege it has been. Good morning, Barry, and thank you for the welcome. And yes, it has been a privilege. We've, as luck would have it, we've both really enjoyed doing this together and getting out and about. So, and as I said to you, you know, being the YouTube novice that uh, I was and technically still remain. Uh, fascinating insight okay. just to see what's out there and and my work guys it has been a sensational ride so can't, there is a seat on the wagon so come along with us and join us for the the second last week of our show and we've got a big one coming up to say farewell to the show next week here's mark now to tell you about it yep so as you said barry only a week to go and uh you know it's taken a long time to get to this you know only a week to go so on both uh Disappointed that we're going to come to an end, but I'm very excited for you that you get to finally go home after like, really working at it for so long to get you to the And And I um, went wham, whack, 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 whack. And, and just think, on, think of it. Now, We'd like to go over some of the topics. We know that you quoted them so many times, but why don't you come on a journey with us this morning and we and we hope that you will get on the wagon because like I said, there is plenty of room for you and all the viewers to come and join us. Is Mark. Yep, we're uh, going to try and make the most of what time we have left and turn it into something special for you and Barry and uh, hopefully it's going to be a ride worth taking. So let's take you, let me take you back to where it all began. It was Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, and I arrived from hospital at Bray Park. It was three o'clock in the afternoon. My bed had arrived and it was a challenge getting me off the ambulance bed onto my bed with a dead voice that would be right. My first night, I was a bit overwhelmed because, you know, when you move into somewhere new, away from your friends and family, guys, you feel a little bit overwhelmed. But that's natural. And you sort of think, I, I miss my friends. I miss my family and I'm away from them. And as April went, I thought I was going to, my, the Queensland shoe was going to fit, but no, nope, too tight. 
And like I said, if the shoe ain't gonna fit, what's the point of wearing it? So my April went, and then May came along, and then I was really upset on that occasion as well. And then, and then June came along, and then I got COVID, which was not very good. So, uh, so Mark and I both got the COVID, and it was not very good at all. Here he is to tell you about it. Yes, well, we both got COVID, but we were sort of well separated because you you got COVID at the beginning of June and uh, went into isolation. And so obviously we missed the next week and then because of the timing of it, we missed the next week. He was still in isolation. And then um, the following week, I got it. So we managed to miss, I think, three weeks in a row. Well, that was 21 days worth of the cancelled program. Yeah. Which wasn't good because not only did you know, it become disruptive, but you were absolutely isolated to your room for 12 days, which was horrible for you. It was, and, and then I came out of isolation on the 26th of June. That was a Sunday, but I, I was only allowed at the bedroom door. Okay, so I wasn't allowed out anywhere near the lounge room area until the following day. Okay, so very disappointing, but I had to do it. Stay safe. And then June, June ended, and then July came along, and, and then it started off okay, but unfortunately, tragedy struck. Um, I had lost my flatmate. I won't mention his name. So a very difficult time, and here's Mark. Yes, that was very particularly difficult time for you because uh, it was both unexpected for everyone and you know it then left you alone in the house so you know it had a very big social impact on you and uh, obviously the event itself had a serious emotional impact but then it left you with other impact so Now, should I go and see what that alarm is? Uh, I'll just pour that back after the break. Welcome back. As I was saying, a tragedy struck in the studio, and I, I lost my flatmate. A uh, very sad news for me indeed. So, but I did not wallow. Instead, I got on with the task at hand and we went out to Scarborough for episode 27. Okay, and we had lunch at the iconic Morgan, Morgan Seafood again. Okay, and, and um, it was really good. Here's Mark. Yes, that was a, a cracker actually, because uh, you know, we had been at Scarborough the day that you got there, but of course it was a bit of a write off. So I'm not surprised that you didn't really uh, 
sort of remember slash love your lunch that day. But uh, certainly the second time round, when we were both in good spirits, uh, you know, Morgan's is, there's a reason it's iconic. Uh, people keep going back to it all the time because the food's good. And we we had, I think, some fish, some scallops, and some chips. That's what we had. Yep. So um, that 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 first time we went, like I said, I was more or less ready for bed. Okay, I was going like, and by the time lunch was over, bang, that was it. That was it. I yeah, was but it. luckily you were dressed for it. You had a beanie on. You pull your beanie down low, put the chair back, and uh, even though you weren't well, you did look comfortable. But the only thing I forgot was the pillow and blanket. Well, didn't really need a blankie that day, did you? No, because I recall it was quite warm in the sun. So, so by the time I we got back to Scarborough, okay, I had the COVID test and I tested positive. Now that was June dust. Now July. Okay, it was a, like I've said, a tragedy struck the studio, and and I was left alone until the end of July when my new flatmate had arrived, and then. August came along, Mark went on his holiday, we, he went to the Northern Territory and I had a great time there and, and he was well rested. Now we went to New Palm Park a couple of times, we went to Strap Point, okay, and that was good there. All right, so um, so it was a good, good time. So so um, August went, and then September, and and then we went to Injapilly in August, twenty ninth of August. We were met to go on the river cruise but of course like Mark said that got rained on so um, not a very good day for that Gary used to tell you about it yeah so we had planned uh, getting Barry onto the river cat ferries in Brisbane and tripping around because you know, some of the places that we'd been in taxi, Outbank, New Farm Park, etc., uh, all have ferry stations for the river cats. And it is uh, accessible for Barry's electric wheelchair. So the possibility is there. But uh, of course, when it's raining, it's less than desirable. So we had to skip it for that day. And then the chance hasn't arisen again, has it? No. So Mike, Mark and I said we've done excellent shows. Okay. Um, we thank you for joining us. And then in December we trooped off to Germside and ha had fun there. Here's Mark.
Yes. Um, all of that. Um, we're heading now, taking the to the pool. Yep. So I'll see you guys in half. So, like we would say, we've had some, an excellent time. Okay. Okay. And, um, we are sad to see that, um, to tell you that the show is coming to an end here, Mark. It is sad, Barry, I have to say, but I, as we've discussed, I'm excited for you that you get to go home and, and uh, you know, once you get home and you're comfortable in your setting again, uh, I expect your life to be much more, uh, I suppose, even so that you feel a lot more stable and you'll be able to do all the things that you were doing here but with the background of you know the comfort of that history of long-term friends and all your relatives down in Sydney so you've just got a network down there that I've And we will take a break. This is Barry and Mark. See you soon. Well, here we are now on episode 75. And, and unfortunately, the show is about to come to an end. But we will tell you more about that after. Now, let me take a shot of me sitting out in the sun, okay? Now, if this, this was me, okay, sitting out here in the sun, with no hat and sunscreen, I'd know what would happen. I'd be burnt to a fish. Here's Mark now to open open the next segment with that thanks barry yep sun safety is very important and something that we always have to consider when we're out and about uh, there's always sunscreen hats sunglasses and obviously you know it's not like you need to slip on a shirt barry because neither of us would be going shirtless anyway so pretty much got the game covered and uh, it is very important particularly in Queensland to make sure that you do use sunscreen and use a hat and sunglasses routinely now it is very yeah. important and of course Barry needs to now slide back so Mark can step out of the Sun because he hasn't got any of that on so thank you the important thing is, guys, in the car, please do not, and we repeat, do not leave any child unattended in the car because the temperature out here, guys, can rise like an oven, like it's in 25 degrees, from 25 degrees to a very uncomfortable fifth. So anybody that is caught leaving a child unattended in a car will be severely in trouble. Give Mark with that message. Yes, it seems unfortunate that this message needs to keep going out. Uh, given that it's okay. not new, it's something that is talked about absolutely all the time. And there are enough cases of idiotic failures of memory slash whatever that has led to the deaths of quite a few children in the last 12 months. And yet it continues. So what we would like to say, if we continue today, 
if if you leave you to any part so unattended in the car it could lead to tragedy okay and we will talk about that at the end of today's show also also we will talk about um what to do um, if your child is severely burnt and dehydrated. So plenty more coming up on the show today. Let's get back to the sausage rolls and we'll see you soon. See you soon, everyone. Welcome back to episode 75, guys, and Barry and Mark here. 25 to midday on this Monday morning wherever you may be and it's sticky hot day out there today well today we're going to be making the iconic favorite and what is it the favorite sausage roll now do you remember when we made sausage rolls early, earlier this year of Brave Park on episode 68. Well, we thought we might do it on episode 75 today. And rejoining me in the studio, as always, is my good friend Mark English. Good morning to you and welcome back. Thanks, Barry. Good to be back. And we love talking food especially sausage rolls mostly because i love them so uh yeah looking forward to cooking up some sausage rolls for today and uh you know getting a bit more kitchen time in so this week is the second last show of, of not only the series but we're wrapping it up purely because we will say i will tell you this i am on my way back to sydney now and after 10 months of frustration and homesickness well it's just about to come to an end here's mark to reopen part our show and um, part two of episode 75 with that thanks barry yes about this time in exactly two weeks you will be at the airport well in fact is your flight your flight's at one isn't it yeah yeah so flights at one and uh yep yeah. So you will be at the airport, ready to go, by about this time. So, next Monday, guys, will, um, next Monday and Tuesday, join us for the big finale. Here's Mark to tell you about. Yep, so next Monday, Tuesday, last days, we already know Monday is going to be a busy day. Got a few things to do, uh, not the least of which is have your farewell party. So, um, you know, Monday is going to be a busy day next week, but greatly looking forward to it. And, you know, hopefully the last couple of weeks go very smoothly and there are no more hiccups before you head home. So guys, um, like I've been saying, it's with a heavy heart, and, and I really do mean this, okay? I, I don't like bringing a series to an end, and a series that I really love bringing to you, but um, if you've got two hours to listen, which I'm sure you haven't. Well, let me tell you how my homesickness began. Well, 
quite honestly, I was homesick the moment I moved in. Here's Mark to tell you about it. Yeah, well, you know, we didn't meet until May, but uh, by then you were already absolutely set on the path to get back to Sydney. So, you know, you'd already run that, uh, I suppose, scenario about, you know, is it something that you're going to recover from and want to stay in Queensland? Or is it something that's just going to keep building up and be worse, which as it turned out was? And, uh, you know, realistically, you've been trying to get back to New South Wales almost as soon as you, you sort of got up here. But as luck would have it, you've also had, you know, a really good crack at Queensland now and same end result you're still keen to get back to Sydney so you've done absolutely the right thing for yourself Barry. So I had a meeting and phone call with Derek on Friday and everything is set in stone now um, I've been approved okay so Everything is set in stone. A few nuts and bobs to be tacked right. on. Um, tacked on to the side of the stone. Yeah, screw it on. And, you know, um, guys, it really has been a marvelous journey for both Mark and myself. And, and, and you know, we really do hope that you join us for the last two weeks here you know it's been really great to to be up here in Queensland and and Mark I don't know about you but what has been the most favorite highlight of your time with me I think it's every time we get out of the house and get out and about you kind of come to life as much as you love doing your uh, video to camera uh, you seem to love actually getting out there and being in amongst the world and just enjoying your life as normally as you can so like I, I said like um, like at the end of May, that was when the plan to Sydney was to get back. Now, I thought I'd been improved, but not at the time, like Mark said, it was just miscommunication, it was just part of the plan. And let's go back to episode 21, okay? Um, it was 10 o'clock in the morning, in the morning, okay, June started off okay, but on the 14th of June, as luck would have it, like we, um, we were doing the intro to the show, okay, I, and I was sounding like Barry White, not Barry Finn. I want to go and good morning everyone and I knew straight away that something was not right and I hear Mark to tell you about it now. Well that was, must have been one of those you knew something was not right but I certainly couldn't tell. Everything seemed perfectly normal for the whole morning and uh, and then yeah, well, it genuinely wasn't until lunchtime that I noticed that you started to struggle. And even then it was like the second half of lunch. It was almost like you were all right up until the fir first half of lunch and then all of a sudden, you just, yeah, 
and wanted to put your head down. So there was a lot of lying back in the chair with your eyes closed and and the annoying part was um, when I got the COVID. So when we got back from doing episode 21 at Scarborough, it was Jamison Park. I had the mask on then and you were right, Mark, I was coughing. Because even when I was speaking there, you know, I had a very nasty cough, and that was a sign of COVID. And then, and on the way home, I was more like, like more likely ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, so you were. Yes, I remember it being quite a quiet journey home. Once we got over the excitement of the taxi finally turning up. Uh, we settled down very quickly into almost a snooze. And I remember a bear coming to $77. I remember that. It was about $35 when we got there. Quite late again. Yep. And as soon as I got in the door and you said bye-bye and I had the COVID test, yeah. one, two, bang, straight in the bed. Yep. And that was it. Twelve days of Iceland. Yeah. Not, not your best twelve days. Not my best 12 days, no. But uh, like all things, guys, you, you had to do it. All right. And then so my isolation ended and then June ended, okay. And then so I came along, okay, and then like I said, my flatmate had passed away, passed away very suddenly. I got told the news when I got back from Redcliffe that night. Um, it was a very emotional time. But moving on to this year, but before we do that, before episode 47 and 8 came along, I was jumping out of my chair. Well, it was actually Friday when I, that Friday, I got the news and I had not, and I completely had not stopped jumping up and down since. And on Monday when Mark came in, I, I immediately got on the camera and breaking news was just in. Here's Mark to tell you about it now. Yes, well, the breaking news, which was the news that you'd been waiting for. And we'd, been, we'd had a couple of false starts, which just made it that much sweeter when it finally came because, you know, you thought you were going to get approved and then you thought this was going to be the one and and then it wasn't until you decided to uh, throw the cat amongst the pigeons and say, in the absence of anybody else offering time frames, when you said, yep, 11th of January I'm leaving, and everyone slipped into action. But uh, even then, it's still going to be you know, the 20th of Feb. But, gee, didn't that make things move along when you actually nominated a date? It did, and that was on episode 70, uh, 61. 
am Wasserschere her, ein Zahn sein an der Nordseite von Brisbane. So we um so that would be good a good time there. Alright, alright, and we also talked about donating the care flight to buy flight, sorry. Um which yeah. brings us nicely on to that. So get uh, your money out and buy some um cabbly uh, bear or a plush helicopter guys twenty five dollars for the bear and fifteen dollars for the, the um the helicopter so here's Mark to tell you about it. Yeah so uh all the RACQ officers sell those toys and as Barry said the uh the profit from that goes to helping fund care flight, life oh, flight. Life flight. We'll get it right one day, life flight, uh, which of course is one of the emergency services provided and to Queenslanders and northern New South Washington. So that uh, helicopter will do distance retrievals for patients, etc. And you know, it is an essential service for a state the size of Queensland or, you know, anywhere within Australia, you need to have these kind of services to cover the distances in a respectable time that's going to actually benefit the patient. So, uh, you know, if you can see your way clear, please make a donation or buy one of the plush toys and, and we might that. show you one of them yes so we'll just pause that for a sec so here we have the, the helicopter the helicopter that is fifteen dollars okay and the bear is twenty five so if you've got $35 in your pocket, purchase both of them. And like Mark said, all the money that's donated to help to keep the chopper in the air, okay, will help save lives here, Mark. Yeah, absolutely. This, uh, this service is for the benefit of the public and it provides an excellent service that is absolutely necessary for uh, when things don't go according to plan in remote areas in particular and hopefully uh, you never need these services but if you do they're there they're as quick as they can be and they provide the best possible service that we can hope to have well, the time is coming up to 11.53, coming up to 12 o'clock. Uh, time for another break, and let's get the sausage rolls happening. Um, so before we do go to the break, Mark and I would just like to say a really big thank you to each and every one of you from coming on the wagon with us um, get you, you to get your spots ready because we've got uh, next week to go to and, and on Tuesday the really big finale starting at 10 o'clock in the morning um, be with us we might even do some white gum to to finish off our series and go back to where it all began. We are looking forward to it. Here, Mark to take us out to the break with that. Sounds fantastic, Barry. And at least I, for one, am looking forward to it. 
and the concept of white gum sounds fantastic. So I'm more than happy to have a hand in playing along with that. Yeah. And as Barry said, keep a spot open and come with us for the last couple of days. Come with us on the final leg. Even join us at the airport on Monday, the 20th of, of February. We might even do a stand off there to say farewell. And, um, really, guys, it's just been a, a, a really awesome ride. Um, you've all been great and it is a happy time for me, but also sad that I have to make a decision like this. But you know, like the saying goes, you've got to do what is right. Yep. Do what's right for yourself. And like I, we've said before, don't let other people the pillion fall on top of you because you can say thank you but no thanks you've got your own stuff to look after so please let, let, let me look after mine so so we're off to do the softy drums now and we will see you very soon and tell you about them. Here's Mark to take us out. Thanks, Barry. Yep, looking forward to some sausage rolls for lunch. So, uh, no doubt the reports are going to be that way. And so we'll see you after lunch. And, and, and. We will talk more about the history of this program too, so do stay with us guys. The show is far from over yet. Stay with us and we will talk about the benefits of bringing Triple O to and when we should ring it. We might give you a reminder now. Only bring that number if it's an emergency, like I had to do on Saturday. Here's Mark to remind you of that before we hit the kitchen. Yep, so as we've said so many times in the past, it's an emergency number. It is not just a random number for fun or to do other things with. It's certainly not a number to bugger around with. I was going to say prank, but also don't bugger around with it. And, you know, it provides an awesome service. It's an essential service. And anything you do to disrupt it is potentially endangering somebody else. Like me, because transport services are very limited so if you haven't got an emergency guys we will remind you there about this after but in the meantime let's hit the kitchen and we will see you after after lunch with more of the show this is episode 75 now Coming up to 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock if you are in Sydney. See you soon, guys. See you soon. We thank you, everyone, for tuning in today to episode 75. Episode 76 coming, coming up tomorrow. Sorry about the hiccups and the number that we rely on. 12, 24 hours a day, you know what it is. Triple zero. Please do not ab abuse that number. Here's Mark now to close episode 
75 with with this. Thanks, Barry. Very important, everyone, that triple zero is not abused. Emergency number for the fire, ambulance and police services. And anything other than that, it doesn't deal with. And uh, anything that distracts the operators from doing their job is potentially dangerous for someone that is trying to get through to the service. Mug, so, mug. Like Barry. So mm. please don't abuse it and hopefully you'll never need it. So we hope that you have enjoyed episode 75 today and we look forward to your company again tomorrow. But until, until then, from episode 75, bye-bye. See you tomorrow.